I want to speak briefly about dividend yields, and dividend yields obviously apply to stocks, stocks, paying, stocks that pay dividends. Um, in the case of bonds, bonds do not pay dividends, bonds uh, have the interest expressed in the form of a coupon, and the coupon is, the, is, is an interest and a, is a payment that is made on an annual or typically semi-annual basis while the investor holds that bond. But focusing for a moment on dividend yields, when we refer to the dividend yield of a stock, we're typically referring to the yield that is provided, i.e. the income expressed as a percentage um, for that stock. Now companies, when they have earnings, have two choices. One is to retain the earnings on the balance sheet, i.e. keep the money within the company and use it for future investments or simply keep it for uh, and not pay it back to investors in a current year or they can provide investors with uh, an income while the investor holds that stock. And that income is the dividend. So the dividend is a fraction of the earnings of the company that are paid out um, and not retained and paid to investors while they hold that stock. Now the dividend yield is the yield that is, the, is that dividend expressed as a percentage of the stock price or stock value. Um, so, for example, if a stock costs $50 and the dividend is $2, then the dividend yield um, on, on a cost basis is $2 divided by 50 or 4%. And if that stock price now is $100 and the company is still paying a $2 dividend, then the dividend yield, and commonly when we refer to dividend yield, we're referring to the current yield, i.e. the dividend yield based on the current stock price, and that dividend yield is $2 divided by 100, which is 2%. So it is one of the forms of return for the investor while they're holding the stock. So for example, if we're holding a stock that's, that is currently trading at $100 and the company is paying a dividend of $2, then we are receiving dividend income of 2%, which uh, will be augmented potentially in the future by a price appreciation of the stock um, and the capital gain return on that stock. But while we're holding that stock, the form of return that we receive is the dividend yield. And that dividend yield is typically the, the current dividend divided by the current stock price. In the example we gave, $2 divided by $100 or 2%. Or the dividend yield could also be a cost yield, which is less frequently used. But it is the dividend divided by the cost of the stock, which in the example that we gave was $2 divided by $50 or 4%. But if we're going to assess the dividend yield or the income return of the investment as a percentage, we would typically take the current dividend divided by the current stock price, and in this case that would be 2%, and that is the dividend yield that we receive.